Megan Horn, and welcome to another episode of Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. Ah, hey, happy Monday. I'm Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years and a life and career coach for actors just like you. I'm live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? I'm live on Facebook. What's up, Facebook? This will eventually be on the podcast, the Hollywood Bound Actor Podcast. If you don't subscribe, you should get into it. Come on, come on, come on. To all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up? You play watchers? Love you guys. Woo, I just got off. I'm pumped because pump, 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 pump you up. Um, I just got done with... Um, a coaching session with my inner circle members, my inner circle. That's my private VIP coaching six months minimum. And we just dive deep on so much good stuff and we just hung up. So I'm like, let me use that energy and bring it on over to the people. What's up TC Rose, Chicago in the house, Marilee, Atlanta in the house. What's up? Who's, who's on Instagram? Lisa Jackson, Mandela Joy, Gary, Spark of Light. Come on, Spark of Light. Yes, it's Jiggy Baby. Let's get into it. So tonight's episode, I can't really say it because it's some explicit, ex how you say, explicatives? Ex <laughs> I can't even say it right. My, tonight, this is episode 203 of Actors Daily Bread. If you've never, Marilee said, oh, she's hyped today, y'all. It's, it's Monday. <laughs> oh, man, this is called... She just got released from two pins today. And so we're going to spread love and joy <laughs> to the world. We're going to spread love on them gigs that I didn't book today. So I'm going to spread love to you, spread love and light. Um, but tonight I want to talk about F the lines. F the lines. For my kids, don't listen. The lines. And this came up because um, in my inner circle session, I was just uh, encouraging one of our members. Um, she has a big audition coming up. And... I just know um, how that feels when we're getting ready for something that we feel that is big, next level. Um, for those of you who don't know, if you've been under a rock, Book More TV is coming. I know you don't know what that is yet, but January 1st, you're going to hear all about it. I'm opening the doors to an exciting new five-week program. So I'm telling you, get your coins together, get some Christmas money to the side. I'm telling you, you're going to want it. So, but in that, in that, because I'm in that mode, I'm like dissecting and wanting to know what you're thinking and what's coming up for you. And I know what happens because it used to happen to me and honestly still does. For me, it, it's just elevated. So you get the two line script or the one page co-star, maybe one and a half pages, you're cool, but you get that four, seven, 10 page script heavy, it's all you talking. Hey Raquel, welcome, right? You get all this extra, all these extra, all these extra words, right? Hi, some more 2K3, right? And then all of a sudden that panic sets in and not just panic, because we've talked about that a lot recently, but it's deeper than that. It becomes this thing of like, how am I going to get all this in my brain? How am I going to memorize all of this? How am I going to you know, I got to do a good job. How am I going to get all this in here and still execute? And so that's why tonight's episode, again, is 203. If you've missed any Actors Daily Breads, come onto my YouTube, right? Um, but tonight I want to just give you three tips that you might take away and use for your next thing. Look, it's not the end of the year yet. The end of the year yet. Auditions are still coming through. I've had a lot of commercial auditions lately and not so much theatrical. Um Hence all the pins and releases, but that's a whole sidebar. <laughs> um, but um, just three tips I want you to take away that might help you to get and to get you ready as we gear up for Book More TV. Number one is, that's why this episode is called F the Lines. I truly do mean it. No one is getting kudos, stickers, brownie points. Roles don't just go to the actors who know all their lines. Honey, if that was the case, all y'all, we would all be booking. Just off that, off GP, like, oh, she... Oh, Ramon knows the lines. He got the part. You know, some more 2K3, Alicia, you know, Saint, Saint Soy. These names on Instagram. Y'all be getting me, right? It's not just about that. So I'm saying F the lines. But here are three tips that I want you to keep. Like, Christine, we talk about F the lines. I got to know the lines. Yes, you got to know the lines. But here's what we're going to do. Number one, your first job, right, is to create character. Nobody gives a damn, excuse, know, it's, look, it's after nine, kids should be asleep. Nobody gives a damn if you know the lines if you haven't connected to a character, if you do not even know who you are. 
those of you who've been rocking with me for a minute, I'm always talking about creating auditions. Some of you have taken courses with me. We have that audition checklist, right? Character bio, you know, know who your character is. Even if they say police officer one, woman number two, or if they say, you know, you know, Pamela, Okay, well, what's Pamela's story, you know, based on what you've been given? Like, and looking at that script, dissect, I naturally want to reach toward my bucket of scripts back there. Naturally wanting to figure out, okay, well, who is this? What, what is she going through with the scene? Know who the character is. And are you wrong? Probably. You're probably wrong about most of it. So this is where I'm always encouraging you to make a choice. Be strong and wrong. If you're going to be, just make a choice. Commit to something. Okay, but it's not about the lines. You do not, and hear me, take this into 2020. You don't get points for knowing lines. We can get anybody to memorize some lines. Okay, so that's first number tip number one create character. What's up, Trafina Wade? Trafina, I have a screenshot of you. Um, you did an Instagram screenshot like earlier this year, and she was using my character bio worksheet. You took my scene study boot camp like a year ago or two years ago now. And I remember she was like, this is so great. And so I took a screenshot of that because that's the work that that's if you spend most of your time. So whether you have overnight or two, three days, most of your time needs to be in creating who the character is. What's up, Orlando in the house? Right. Right. Exactly. Some more says know what's going on in the scene. Know the players, et cetera. Absolutely. OK, so that's tip number one. Tip number two is to I know I'm going to sound like a broken record. Marilee says, this is Actors Daily Bread After Dark. Not to me, because it's 6.27 p.m. in L.A., but it is hella dark. So my, my brain is still, my brain is still confused, guys. Like, I just, this whole daylight savings throws me all the way off. I feel like curling up in pajamas at 5.15 p.m., and that, has, that, is, that is not appropriate. Like, when I even have to teach after 5, I'm like, why, why am I teaching? It's dark. Um, but, um, Know your objective. That's tip number two. And I know that sounds like a broken record. And so can we say, can we find a sexier way to say know your objective? Because I've been hearing that since I was a kid in, in acting class. Let's, let's find something new to bring more joy and, and, and light to that. Just how about, let's know what the hell we doing. What am I doing in the dance scene? Why am I here? What am I doing? Who is this chick? I'm, I got to get my phone. Who am I talking to? Who is Elizabeth? Why am I even talking to Elizabeth? What Elizabeth want? And who does Judith? Who's that? Like finding out who all these people are. And again, you may have zero clue of who they are, but you get to make it up. So I guess making that choice and being strong and wrong and just making a choice and having fun. Shout out to two of my, I'm not going to say their names, but two of my inner circle members tonight when we, were, we just got done with class two of them one's in new york one's in la and they had this breakthrough like ah oh, this clarity came because i had fun at this workshop when i did this scene and the other my other uh client was like she was like i had fun because there was no like the stakes weren't so high meaning it wasn't so precious <laughs> my precious I'm like my precious like that's how you treat your audition sometimes it's it's so precious you know like you have to be so perfect and when you just let that shit go and just be like i'm gonna just have fun create this character do me show up as the best version of me like everything changes um so so yeah i'm gonna come to these comments and thank you guys for giving me some love facebook even if you're watching the replay give me some love let me know that you're here episode 203 um, I'm gonna give you one more tip before I do. If you're on Facebook, there's a link above. I want you to grab my free get booked playbook. If you don't have it, you should totally get it. I, it's like, it's a, it's a video series where I actually walk you through a lot of the steps that I talk about. Do I have a copy here? I do. This is one of my old copies. This is my, this is before I got to print, but my book playing small, which is now on audible, you guys. If you want to hear me talk it out, I know Trafina got it. I'll walk it out. Um, but there's some steps in here that I literally uh, walk you through on camera that you might find helpful, and it's totally free. Instagram, just click the link in my bio, and you'll see Get Booked Playbook. You may have to scroll, but it's there. I want you to get it because it's so juicy. Um, so my next tip is 
this whole episode is about F the lines, forget the lines. And if you must memorize a line, memorize the first line, for goodness sake. You should not not be off book for line number one. They come to you, you be like, all right, uh, what's my first line? Know the first line. I'm not gonna let you off the hook for that. Like just on a tech tip so that your eyes are with the camera. Know the first line. And if possible, know your last line. But more importantly, know everything that's happening in between. Let me have a sip before I give you all this last tip. And then I'm going to come to some questions or come to the thread, see the comments. A little sidebar. I had a weird day today. I had to make out with a stranger today at an audition for a commercial. I'm going to just let that sit there. That was my Monday. Commercial. Lucky him. Right. All right. Third tip is outside of knowing these lines and because we're saying F the lines is create your environment. <laughs> Alicia said, oh, my honey, it was a whole. I was like, I don't see no cold sores. We, OK. <laughs> um, create your environment. That's what I see that's missing. So while you're too, while you're while actor number one is busy trying to memorize all the lines, Dolly was accusing. Wow, while actor number one is so worried about memorizing the lines and being off book and and word perfect, me, <laughs> I'm over here on some. Just I just you just need to feel my energy because either my energy fits this role or it doesn't. And, and by that, it's just not, am I, am I the role when I walk in the room? It is, I'm going to do the work of creating character and all that. And you're going to, if it's going to vibe or not, but I want to now create my environment. And that's what I see missing in a lot of my clients' auditions. And that might be something for you too. Like you're just not creating your world. So those are your three tips today. Focus less on the lines, F the lines. And I mean, total, total cuss word, F the lines. I do mean it wholeheartedly. There may be some coaches out here that you got to be a book. Gotta, not for audition number one. Not for the audition you got to, you know, excuse me, 6 p.m. on Monday. And, like, I got something that came in that's due at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. my time. I'm like, but, again, this is self-tape, so that's even a different sidebar because I don't even have to memorize the lines at home. I can type them out. So those are the three tips. Create character. Focus on creating character. Focus on knowing what the heck you're doing and who you're with and creating your environment. When you have those three things, you just will feel more confident and you don't, and things will come into, and of course, the more you read, this is the sidebar guys, the more you read over that script and dissect it over and over and not dissecting like trying to mem stop trying to memorize lines i know crystal carson shout out to her you know auditioning by heart she'll tell you stop trying to memorize lines just get keep reading so i can what are these stage directions what are they trying to get me to do okay what why did she run into the room like what is she feeling oh okay you know like oh let me come to these comments before i come to these comments can i i'm going to give you all some homework for those of you who have netflix this is so, it's kind of sidebar, but just for the holidays, as um, some, of my, some of my clients were like, I need something to work on over the holidays. If you have Netflix, this is so worth your time. Please do yourself a favor and watch The Irishman with Pacino, De Niro, and Pesci. And after you watch it, that three and a half hour movie, then there's, they just added a like a 23 minute behind the scenes of how they did the special effects and all that stuff. Even just watching them talk about it was like a master class. Please then also watch Marriage Story that came out on Friday with Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson. The directing and the acting, oh, it is an actor's dream. And I would love for you to just watch it and dissect it. Find, especially anybody in my, my old Booking Magnet Academy members, we talk about pace and flow and rhythm and melody and our scripts. Oh, it is, it is, uh, and I don't have the words because it is such good, oh, it's just great, great art. 
I'm just, I'm so full even talking about it. Do yourself that favor over the holiday and do that and be inspired. Let me come to these comments because I'm happy to see y'all are awake tonight. Um, let me come up here to Instagram first. Facebook, I see you. Mm, yes. Okay. So more I said, no, what's going on in the scene? Yes. Yes. So more so who, what, where, when, why that character had a life before the first lines were said. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, some more sharing some great books. You guys check these comments. Um, Orlando says, went to a workshop this weekend and a known producer said the problem with Southeast actors is them not being able to deliver. That's why LA actors are hired over Southeast actors. And that's sometimes, and I think the deliver thing, again, it goes to, um, Raven Drummer did a video about that recently on her Instagram, who cast Tyler Perry stuff. Um, shout out to Marilee who asked a good question to her. Whereas everything's too precious and you're more worried about memorizing lines than becoming. You know, Michelle Obama said becoming, like we have to become that thing. We have to show them this is what you're gonna get in the final thing. You don't have to coax it out of me. You don't have to direct me 50,000 times. I'm gonna bring something to the table. As I like to tell my students, I'm bringing food to the table with my roles, right? I'm gonna come back to Instagram, let me come to Facebook, let me be fair. Um, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jafina, who's listening to my audiobook. Um, <laughs> Raquel said, did you have fun making out? Actually, no, it was weird. That's why I'm always telling people, they were like, ah, isn't it so funny? People who are not actors, and again, the same for the children, people who are not actors be like, nah, they, they having sex for real. And that's, I really want to use the F word. They be like, they having sex for real. I'd be like, no, they're not. <laughs> like there's all these people. So no, my callback was super weird. It was a guy I just met 10 minutes before. I didn't see any visible bumps. You know, I'm like, okay. There was like six people in the room telling us to do it again and again and zoom in. It was just, and it's a commercial, a G-rated commercial. Kind of, I mean, it was just, it was so weird. I was like, theatrical auditions only are not even this deep. Um, um, Marilee says, wait a minute. What if the actor you had to kiss had cold sores? I would not. I just would, I would just, I would not. Um, uh, Marilee says she met Crystal Carson last night. Yeah, she's wonderful. Tell her Christine said, hey. Um, great, 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 great. Yeah. Okay, coming back to Instagram before we wrap up. Tonight, again, we're talking about F the Lines, episode 203 of Actors Daily Bread. That's what we're talking about. Um, okay. I am, oh, I can't see. Erica Nicole, something like that. That's the most random shit ever in commercial auditions. <laughs> it's like, oh wow, so you want to play this scene out? <laughs> That's what it was. Right before we went in, you're like, are we, are we gonna, are we gonna, because no one wants to be kissed without permission. Like, I, I'm not even gonna say any much more about it. Like, even on film and TV sets now, there's intimacy coordinators. So I really am curious. I would be curious. I might call the SAC office to just try to figure out what those rules are because we weren't pressured, but it was, it was interesting. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Antonio James says, I love that. I'm bringing food to the table with my roles. I'm glad you like that. But here's the thing. All, all, all roles don't require you to bring food to the table. Some roles, if it's a, if it's a two, two line co-star, that role requires you to just show up eat the cornbread over there in that corner like we asked you to. <laughs> and some rolls require you to make the turkey and the macaroni and cheese and the greens because we expecting you to. It's Thanksgiving. How are you showing up without it? And it's about knowing that's the stuff I'm going to be teaching when I'm doing book more TV in January. January 1st, you will hear all about it. But it's about knowing when and how to finesse that, to finesse those situations and to know when those show up. Yes, I love, love, love these comments. Check a few more comments before we wrap and give a little extra tea. Um, I work with a few actors and I really, I rarely feel that actors see themselves in the role character. Like what type of pastor would you be versus regurgitating a stereotypical pastor, right? And what, and you having to make out is exactly why I'm, <laughs> yes. Yes, all right. So listen, that was just my two cents for tonight. 
Listen, it is Monday. I want us to start this week off amazing. Again, if you want to grab my Get Book Playbook, I suggest you do if you don't already have it. Shout out to all of you. If you're not following me on Instagram at actress Christine Horn, I'm doing a, a t-shirt giveaway with my Booking Magnet Academy t-shirts. So there's a link to that. It's a new app I'm trying that helps me with giveaways. And it's December, it's my birthday month, it's Christmas. Like I wanted to play with giving some stuff away. So I'm starting with t-shirts and then I'll do another giveaway probably next week. But if you want to throw your name in the hat for the giveaway, just come find me on Instagram. Come to my stories, you'll see, you'll see it. Um, have an amazing night. It's always a pleasure getting to chit chat with you. Um, stay encouraged <sighs> and stay, you know, this is the time for us to get thoughtful about what's next. You know, shout out to, um, Shout out to Crystal Lee Brown, my girl who got me into these Law of Attraction planners by Freedom Mastery. This is my brand new one for 2020. I didn't even take it out the box yet. I bought the exact same one. Sir, can I help you? Oh, have a seat. Um, but what I love about it, well, this is from last. This is from last year. Well, this is the new one. This is my one from last year. I bought, I basically, I bought the same one. I love it. And I'll just show you. I remember Crystal, she shared it with me. Emmy award winning Crystal Lee Brown. I'm sorry, Crystal girl. Emmy, 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 Emmy nominated award. I'm just, I'm going to stay in award winning because that was a Freudian slip. But I love because the pages are very, they have lots of times for dates and pages of reflection and pages for notes. Um, so yeah, this is that time of year where we just, let's reflect and think about what's, what we're trying to manifest for this next chapter of our lives. Thanks for hanging with me. Again, this is episode 203 of Actors Daily Bread. If you enjoyed this, tell a friend, share it. Um, yes, receive it, girl. Okay, I think that was intentional. It's, it's intentional, right? Um, catch up and I'll see you guys next time. Keep spreading love, keep spreading light. Remember that you have a gift that the world needs to see. That's it, bye.